What's up everybody? It's Tuesday. I'm Steph and you're watching so last week was weird. Everyone, for some reason, whether we were extremely busy, whether we were sick or something, out of the country, whatever, we all, <laughs> for some reason, were not able to do our videos. And so that was weird. And then Kay had her very first regular spy video, so it was just a whole week of things you don't normally see. I swear we didn't plan that. But um, it was pretty cool how that all worked out. So shout out to all our subs, because you guys all did a fantastic job last week, especially on such short notice. As you can probably tell by my background, I am back in school, and which is actually why I wasn't able to make a video last week. I was traveling, moving in, packing, all that. So it was a wild week for me, but I am back and I am able to make another video for you guys yet again. So this week's topics are pretty long actually so I'm gonna read it from my phone because they're actually too much to memorize first topic is what are your experiences with polyamory do you know someone who is talk about how it's treated differently than other orientations how it's not represented or equalized in society and our second one would be when your friends make you choose between them or your girl I want to do a little bit of both because I actually like these topics a lot personally no I have never experienced polyamory that's not something I'm into I just prefer monogamy when I'm in a relationship. No, I also don't know anyone who is polyamorous or who's ever experienced that. And I was thinking over why it's not represented or equalized in society. And I got to thinking, society likes to romanticize the idea of finding the one or um, being with the one, your better half, your other half, your soulmate, whatever, and they like to make that idea just about one person. Now, I don't understand why you can't have multiple soulmates in this world. There are seven billion people and counting on this earth so the thought that there is one person for everybody on this earth is a little ridiculous if you kind of think about it i mean really let's think about this have you ever seen a romantic movie or romantic comedy about polyamory i've never even heard of that i've never read it in a book actually comment down below if you have heard of one because really i don't even think that exists but it should movies tv shows whatever they should all represent all different types of orientations because it's not fair that some people don't get to see themselves in certain characters because who they are and how many people they love or whatever is just not represented in the media or society in general. Nowadays, gays and lesbians and all that are being portrayed more in media, but we still have yet to see polyamorous characters or anything. I think it's because deep down, okay, we can learn to accept other orientations, but at the end of the day, being gay, being lesbian, whatever is talking about one single person who is attracted to another person with a similar orientation as them and that's it and then they end up happily ever after and that's whatever but polyamory is just much more complicated in that. and once you add a third person people are like what it's kind of weird i don't understand that and then they just don't want to deal with that at all let's move on to the second topic when your friends make you choose between them or your girlfriend two different ways this can go it can either be an ultimatum your friends are literally like you have to choose between us or your girlfriend and you can't have both what i say to that that's unfair you can make time for both of them and it's not fair that they have to put you in the situation where you can't have both people i can't see a situation where that would even be okay maybe if your girlfriend was a little bit of like a bad influence on you and that shows that they actually care but in general it doesn't have to be friends with girlfriend girlfriend with friends friends with other friends if there is a person that is making you choose between them and the other person, choose the other person. Because if said person who's giving you the ultimatum actually cared about you and your opinions and your life, they wouldn't put you in that situation where you had to choose. So this is someone specifically asking for them and their friends are really making them choose between them or uh, their girlfriend. Um, I would say choose your girlfriend, to be honest. Even though personally, I actually value friendship a whole lot. You can make other friends. But that is it for this week's topics. If you like this video, feel free to share it. If you want to follow me or the girls on any of our social media, those links will be down below. If you have any topic suggestions for next week or in the future, please write those down below. We highly appreciate them. I will see you all next week.